Good morning, guys. Every day that I wake up, I always come the first one. Nah, well, let's do this again. One of the first things that I do in the morning is I come to the front room and I kind of look out the windows and I see, eh, is it sunny? What's the weather like? And then I do this and I know that if I'm blinded, oh, wow, look at that. Wow, <laughs> it's not only is it foggy outside, can you guys see the steam rise from Phoenix's castle? Look at that. And it's rising from the truck too, it's like the castle's on fire. And the truck's on fire too, look at the steam just rising from it. It's rising from the grave. So are you ready to talk some manly men stuff here? Unless you're a female and you work on cars too, and that's totally fine too. <laughs> Anyway, I know, I'm just digging myself a hole. I tend to do that. We are back working on the hearse today. I'm so excited. Um, I just got through uh, installing the powertrain control module, or actually the older units are called ECMs, electronic control modules. This is what it looks like. If I hear anybody say, it's the brain, I'm, well, okay. Haunty, yes, it's the brain. But technically, I hate hearing that. It's like, oh, dude, like I totally need to replace the brain in my car. No, you need to replace the electronic control module. What? Am I complaining? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Anyway, Buffy's out here enjoying the sun, and I am in here. Oh, oh, by the way, it had a parasitic draw. In other words, the battery kept going dead. And I found that the, uh, the old PCM, the memory, was uh, drawing too much current. So, there we are. There's the new one. I gotta take it back out, get all the mounting hardware. I just wanna put it in there real quick, just make sure it works. And it does work. So anyway, it's a good day so far. It's a dang good day. Isn't it a good day? Can you say good day? Can you speak? Speak? Good girl. Look at it. It has not changed. It is a sunny day outside, which is extremely awesome because that means that maybe, maybe the Buffy and I can go out for a walk. I just got to get some stuff done first. Now, isn't that a creepy picture? <laughs> There's like a single big cloud in the sky and the sun is now behind that cloud. That is like outstanding. And right behind the spooky tree too. So if we keep watching it, it's gonna get sunny all over again. And with glasses. See, that's what Troy sees, isn't that cool? Without glasses, with glasses. Without glasses, with glasses. I had to stop and show this to you guys. Uh, the point that I made the other day about you can't get more real than real, but there's also a perceived real. This right here is case in point. See this right here? This would be a fire hydrant that somebody ran into. Do you notice how it's not spraying water all the way up in the air? Nor did it look like that even happened. So it's the perceived real. All the time in the movies, you see somebody hit a fire hydrant. What happens? Water goes straight up. Not the case. So there's the difference between the perceived real and the real real. <laughs> the real deal real. Yo, stuff like that. So currently we are in downtown Tacoma because I am doing chores and more. <laughs> Little inside joke there. You guys get it, right? No, I didn't think you would. And actually, quite honestly, we're not too far from the uh, Pierce County Asylum right now. The haunted house. The house. The haunted house. Oh, 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 oh. We might turn right there. Do we turn there? Mm, no, no, maybe not. Ooh, do nuts. Do nuts. Do nuts. Can't turn there. I don't think that we get very far. Ooh, there'd be some fun tires there. Reminds me of the Beavis and Butthead episode where he's going down the hill on a tire. Yeah. Yeah. Rolio Daniel. Yeah. Uh, settle down, dumbass. Oh, there it is. There's Pierce County Asylum right there. Do you guys see it way over there? You see it? The green building over there? That's the Pierce County Asylum. Oh, hi guys. How's it going? You can see my reflection in the window. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, I walk out here from the computer room and it's like, this is what I see. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yep. That's what I see. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's dark. How'd that happen? Seriously, how did that happen? I was outside, it was light, I came back in, I go to come to the front window and it was dark, just that fast. 
freaking ridiculous. So anyway, I gotta make one more run to the auto parts store today. Um, I showed this to you guys yesterday, and I know I really didn't make it clear. So I'm going to attempt to do this again. This is where we start. So the car goes down here, around this loop, um, around this loop, down here, and then it goes upside down, and it comes this way on this top track. Now before, it used to come from here, and go all the way back up to here again. But instead, what I did, because I liked this part, how it goes upside down on this top piece, I loved that, but we still needed to end it up coming out here. So my option was, I could have just, uh, where is it, after this loop right here, I could have just had it go straight out here, but that would have taken like all of the center stuff away, and I like it. I've said that like four times now, it just shows how much I like it. <laughs> so anyway, what I did is instead of coming straight up here, I looped it this way, and there was enough that I could put the track on the bottom too. Uh, let's see, here we go, let's try to do this right. Oh yeah, awesomeness. <laughs> the, the thing that's not awesome is this right here is I call it a female end of the track. Um, the male end plugs into this, but in the room, <laughs> in the room, it's reversed. So that means that I have to take all this track, like each piece, piece by piece, and flip it around so that the male end is on this side and not the female end. Yeah, so I have to do that to this whole thing. So essentially, I have to take all this track off, put it on backwards, and do it all over again. I, I'll, I'll do it piece by piece, but yeah, so I'm not too happy about that. But that's something that I want to get to tonight, um, but I have to go work on a car first. <sighs> I also want to apologize. The videos the last couple days, um, I, I, well, I'm not, I'm not going to apologize. It's my life. Every day is not exciting. <laughs> Every day cannot be a winner. We try for it. I try. Um, I try to make it interesting, but yeah, every day, you know, it's just, it's just a day. And are you guys, okay, you guys aren't all foggy then. I just want to make sure that you're not all, you're not all steamed up over the situation. Um, for those of you who have uh, donated to the GoFundMe account. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, so much. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'll, I'll give kind of updates on here, uh, to keep you guys informed a little bit. Um, but I, I hated to do that. I, I hate asking for things and you know, sometimes it's just necessary. You just, you just have to. So, um, if you've donated, thank you very much. Um, the link I didn't put on the yesterday's vlog until like 200 views because I totally spaced it off and forgot it. Um, so the link is on yesterday's vlog down in the uh, description. Um, and I'll try to remember to put it on this vlog also from the beginning. I want to write myself a note. In fact, in fact, I'm going to write myself a note right now because if I don't write myself a note to remember, then I'll forget. And if I don't write myself a note to write myself a note to remember, then I will also forget. So there, I did it. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> if it's up there tomorrow, then you guys will know why, because I reminded myself. Well, actually, up there today on the vlog you're watching right now. Yes, I saw her. I saw, I saw her out of the corner of my eye getting ready to sniff me everywhere. Buffy! Buffy! Troy has a good idea! I have a good idea. I have a good idea. Oh my gosh. So, here I was just driving along doing chores and, and, and errands. <laughs> and I was thinking to myself, it's like, dang, I didn't do like anything interesting today. I didn't really have a whole lot of time to, but I could have squeezed something in there. Blah, blah, blah. My mind starts, you know, wandering and I got squirrels and shiny things and then Troy sits back and he realizes, it's like, wait a second, I should ask you guys something fun to do. It's like, oh, wait, no, screw that. There's the internet. There's one step, you know, bigger, one step further. Why don't I ask you guys to research the Tacoma area and look for cool sites to see or things to do that are cheap or free? That, that, my friends, would be awesome and then I could just like you know knock them out of the park one at a time if there's like a old church or something that I could go to to try and get a tour of or um, I don't know old battlegrounds or some weird store that I haven't found yet or something like that I don't want to go all the way to Seattle 
So I would like to keep it around the Tacoma, Lakewood, Parkland. Once you guys get pull a map up, you can see all the surrounding cities or whatever. But that would be so cool. And why does this idiot behind me have his brights on? That's just rude. And why does this guy signal and not turn? That's rude too. Nobody knows what they're doing. They're, they're trying to sandwich me in this, this bliss of, of stupidity and I'm not gonna take it. I'm not. And you, you need to turn your dang brights off, man. So now we gotta do this. We gotta flip the little visor thing on the mirror. Flip the switch on the mirror. And let's watch this guy as we go. Don't forget to flip your mirror back if you have to do that. There we go. All right, so. <laughs> so post it down in the comments, guys. Find something fun for us to do, and we will do it, maybe. Depends on what it is. But it would certainly be more interesting than what today was for you guys. This is going to be a quick COC. I know I always say that and it never happens, that's okay. Anyway, MSM Michael 99 you are first, congratulations. BorgX2679, what was that monster truck you were looking for that one day? It was the Scooby-Doo monster truck and I did end up getting one for him and Phoenix is now playing with the one that I got him. The one with the signature is safe and secure. <laughs> Wondering, Sharon, so what was the result of your prediction? Uh, we have four thumbs down on each of the last three videos, um, which is, I, I can't remember, I can't remember now what my prediction was, um, but it stayed the same. I thought that it would actually go up a little bit, especially on yesterday's video, I'm surprised it didn't go up. But I know two of the four thumbs down every day, and it's so funny. Edward Hughes, this is one of our haunt actors, guys. Uh, crazy guy, but awesome guy and father thing said and that that's that means a lot Liz M thank you so much for your kind words and and your help the last couple days I really really appreciate it and again wow I, sometimes I, I don't know what to say <laughs> oh Ram loved your comment bro thank you this is something I need Jason Christopher 77 um, you say to answer your question about doing things you don't want to do uh, you have to exercise it creates more energy 30 minutes a day workout and your energy will increase and your mind will become clearer. Yeah, I clearly have to do something because, yeah. Wow, Jimmy, I'm back, yay. Adam S, when did you start Halloween Hellmouth and how many years have you been doing this? Um, I started in 2007, took the year off in 2010 and 2014, 15, my bad. So it's almost like every five years I take a year off. Hmm. Tony Fredrickson, I'm in a blizzard. Made a true heartfelt post on the PC. Failed. Either you're all going to see it five times or not at all. Trying on the phone to let you know that this channel is worth returning to tomorrow and I'm not crazy. Blizzards define posts here in Iowa. Happy haunting, Troy. Wow. Well, thank you for your dedication, Tony. That's, that's very commendable and appreciated. Emerald Gypsy Heart, thank you also for the kind words. And we do miss the little dude. Stephanie loves fall. Just wanted to say hey, and I'm glad that you're not asking me to thumbs down a video anymore. It just felt so wrong. I won't ask you to do that again. Jake Prando, left you a little something on the GoFundMe. Not much, but I hope it helps. Everything helps, and I appreciate that very, very much. Chandra, hey, Troy, why are you wearing gloves? Uh, because I forgot to take them off. I was working on a car, and I came in, and sometimes it's just easier to leave them on. But, but if you want to think that, you know, I was like handling like toxic waste or something like that, that'd be pretty cool too. And the final, but not least, comment of the night, oddities. I'd be happy to donate towards the cause, Troy. Sorry, I'm usually the last commenter, but I can say I would much rather give to your GoFundMe instead of some random unknown cause. Fellow haunters, Troy's the real deal, honest and a hardworking guy, but just needs some help. So if you can find it in your hearts to help, that would be great. Haunters for life. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Happy haunting, and, and please also remember, too, it's not for me. It's for Phoenix. All right, guys. I tried to be quick. I've got to edit this up because I have to do my taxes. Every month, I have to do my taxes. Every month. Sales tax. Ha! Ah! All right, guys. Happy haunting. See you tomorrow. Um, but while you're awake, yeah, were y'all well? Nah. Um... But while you're awake...